what's the most exciting abstract that you look forward to the, at this conference, whether it was already presented earlier today or the, whether it's coming up in the next couple of days? So I'm really excited to see the amplitude study. Um, this is uh, a study of um, part, the PARP inhibitor niraparib plus abiraterone uh, in addition to androgen deprivation therapy in the castrate-sensitive setting. We know PARP inhibitors are approved in the metastatic castrate-resistant prostate cancer setting, um, and there's uh, different biomarkers of BRCA1, BRCA2 versus HRR mutations. Um, I'm really excited to see what the data of these PARP inhibitors are in the earlier disease setting, um, while also looking at what some of the long-term toxicities are. You know, PARP inhibitors, like any drug, um, do have toxicities that we need to be mindful of. And our hope is for our patients with metastatic castrate-sensitive prostate cancer, we have a long runway. We have many years that they may be on therapy for. So managing what is the benefit of that drug, but also what are some of those toxicities that we may see in amplitude. Yeah, as a trainee, what I've learned is PARP inhibitors have their side effects. We know that there's a risk of MDS, AML, um, same for drugs like Plavicto. So now that we're moving them up into the earlier setting, patients are living longer, whether they're going to be at increased risk of developing these leukemic, these leukemias or hematologic malignancy is something that we have to be very careful about. Absolutely.